So we just wanted to demonstrate some of the silliness that I know goes on in homes I all be, over the country. Whoopie. And <laughs> look at his face. And our dogs put up with it. Oh, look at the whoopie. Look at that. And, uh, and so, <laughs> unfortunately, we had a situation where um, Joe, my wonderful husband, did his whoopie whoopie, as he always does, with Windsor, but then encouraged our three-year-old to also give Windsor a kiss on the lips. And I'm thinking, what? Don't you know what I do? But, Not you know, on the lips. all right, on the side of the mouth. On the side of his face. On the side of his face, which... His head. Okay, and... Not a good idea. <laughs> so it's not easy living with a dog behavior consultant who specializes in kids and dogs and dog safety. But when I come in the room and I hear, go ahead whoopee, and, whoopee, whoopee. Right, and go ahead and give him a kiss, and our three year old's watching, and then he, you know, said to, for the three year old to give him a kiss. So why do you feel that you told her to give him a kiss? Because he's, he's irresistible, right? Because he's so cute. So we have this problem as human beings that whenever something's cute or it's cute, we want to hug it, we want to kiss it, and we want to, you know, love it the same way that we would do. But Windsor, although he tolerates that from you, even though I don't know why you want to kiss him on his lips, but good for you. But even though Windsor tolerates that from you, as disgusting as it is, and then you kiss me after, that's gross. But even though that happens, um, Kelsey Ann's a whole different story. Do you understand why? Yes. Why? Because she's not going to know the distinction when it's a good time to do it and not a good time. She's not going to be able to control the situation or be able to make a good decision. Right. So did you learn something? Yes. <laughs> just can't Joe do never it. makes the same mistake twice, which is good, usually. 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 Just simply can't do no, it. No, you can't do it and you can't it's model it. it. You can't model it in front of her because what is she going to do to Bailey and Duke and Quentin? And then any other dog that she meets, she's probably going to do the same thing. But I want to say, in all fairness to Joe and to every other person out there, that this is normal human behavior. We want to display and show affection in the ways that you and I are going to show affection. And that becomes a real conflict and a real difficult thing when we're living with our dogs because our dogs aren't as accepting of it. And so it's a natural urge and desire. And even Helen, who's assistant director of our programs, had the urge to say to her two-year-old, go ahead and give Sweet Pea a kiss and give her a hug. It's cute. When something's cute, it's human nature for us to want to cuddle it or kiss it or whatever. That is normal, but we need to resist because children that are, you know, un, you know, really young, really don't understand when it's okay and when it's not okay. So, you learned a really good lesson, and like I said, we wanted to just share with you because even in our home, and even as much as I've tried to educate Joe and everybody in the household, and even I think Kelsey knew to tell you, like today she said that wasn't a good idea. Yeah. So she knows, even the three-year-old knows that that wasn't a good idea, but it's hard to resist. So we want to encourage you to resist the temptation and, you know, think of other ways. One hand petting is safer to do, inviting the dog over to you, but not kissing the dog on the mouth in front of your kids. And probably he doesn't like it so much anyway. Although Wobie seems to unfortunately like it. Anyway, until next time, thank you and goodbye. Bye. Bye.